ma'ams and sirs, welcome to The Jared Bellman Show. We are located in our own homes, continuing safe work processes. My goal is to assist you in your personal and professional growth by talking to community leaders like our guest, Donna Moore. This episode is brought to you by Pro 16 Productions. Pro 16 Productions combines experience, passion, and innovation to capture the essence of your projects. Donna has spent over 30 years in marketing and advertising across many industries and markets before relocating to Hendersonville in 2019. She is passionate about helping businesses in her community find creative advertising solutions as well as building long-lasting relationships with her clients, many of which become friends. Having gone to school for broadcast journalism, life has come full circle now that she calls WTCQ her home. Donna can be found supporting her Q community around town with her dog Dudley at many great places, at the many great places Hendersonville has to offer. Welcome to the show, Donna. Good morning, Jared. Thanks for having me. Oh, it is my pleasure, Donna. So happy to see you this morning. Thank you for uh, setting up the technology and, and joining us from your home. Glad to be here. A uh, little bit of Zoom fatigue, but uh, glad that we have this technology right now. Zoom fatigue. I like that. I've heard that once before, and uh, I, I feel it. I feel it. It's uh, well. You're you're like me. You're a hugger. So uh, I miss I miss the hugs. So how are things going? Are you back in? You guys are back in studio. Um, yes, we are back in studio. We opened the studio up to guests last week for the first time. Um, we're limiting the number of people that are in um, the studio uh, to two and making sure that we follow all safe practices after that. Uh, we have been doing all of our, our live, if you will, via Zoom. So it's nice to have faces again because part of the experience of the radio is actually being there at the radio. So we're excited to have people come back in again. That's excellent. That's excellent. Yeah, glad to hear that. I'm very excited to hear businesses are getting back to uh, doing business the way they do business and, and continuing success. So today I want to talk about community. And Donna, I understand where you're at because I did not grow up here. I am not from Hendersonville. I'm not from North Carolina. I'm a New York Yankee who uh, didn't, I say that, um, a good friend of mine, his mother said that I was uh, Yankee bred, but Southern learned. So I've been in the South longer than I've been in the North. Uh, so I don't consider myself a Yankee anymore, even though I have probably Yankee tendencies. But my point being is that uh, in, two, in, two, in 1999, I moved to North Carolina, culture shock. But then in uh, 2010, I moved to uh, the Asheville and Hendersonville area and fell in love. And you have been here for just about a year, a little over a year. And uh, I know that um, you love this, this community too. And you jumped right in. So tell us about the introduction to Hendersonville. Uh, well, I actually wound up in Hendersonville by accident. Uh, the very first day that I moved to Western North Carolina, I had a short stop in Fletcher. And, but the very first day I came to Hendersonville for lunch, uh, with a friend that was familiar, and that day I fell in love. Uh, I was walking down the street looking for a place to uh, have lunch, and I had my phone in my hand and asked Siri, and I had a gentleman stop and say, I'll be your Siri, and invited us to join him at Three Chopped. And that's really what Hendersonville is all about. So when I had the opportunity to make a move, um, I was looking for a place in Hendersonville and just, like I said, all the stars aligned. And uh, uh, one person that I know fairly well in Hendersonville had said, you don't find Hendersonville, Hendersonville find you. And I really, really believe that. And that was truly my case. Yeah, I'll be your Siri is the most Hendersonville thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. I mean, it was a, a gentleman that was a little older, um, you know, and he shared he had moved from Florida. Uh, I am I, I'm a Yankee as well, believe it or not. I was born and raised in New Jersey. Um, my family went down to Florida, so I'm officially a halfback. Um, and I, too, moved to North Carolina in 1999. So we have some similarities there, but I've only been in Hendersonville since last May. So it's 
just at a year. And uh, I really got to jump in feet first when I joined the chamber. And that was uh, how I truly got immersed into the Hendersonville community. Yeah, immersion was definitely, you jumped right in. Uh, there was no dip in your toe in the water. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great. For, for anybody that's still listening, since now it's two Yankees talking on a Hendersonville podcast, um, <laughs> we appreciate you sticking around. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so, so you definitely immersed yourself into our community. And I, I believe it's paid off. Uh, for you, I think it's great for our community. I, 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 you're an amazing addition to our community, so thank you for um, for being part of it. But how has that helped you in business? So, so jumping in feet first, saying I'm going to be part of this community. How has that helped you? Uh, it's just the number of people that I've known that I know, and just the ability to really uh, forge those relationships. And I am a firm believer that, you know, business comes out of relationships. Uh, it's about listening. It's about being part of the community, um, showing up and giving as opposed to asking and expecting. And that has really made a difference. Uh, actually, jumping right in is while I'm, why I'm at the radio station. Uh, I did not start uh, my journey in Hendersonville with uh, WTZQ. I started with a publication. And because of the relationships that I forged and, and uh, the jumping in aspect of it, when uh, Mark was looking for somebody at the radio station, uh, somebody mentioned my name and the rest was history. And that really meant a lot. Uh, I, I credit a lot to Bob at the chamber because the first day that I met him, he said, you'd make a good ambassador. And I said, I'll think about it. And he said, I'll take that as a yes. And at the time, I had no idea what I was getting into, but I took my ambassador role very seriously, but went to every ribbon cutting, every power hour, business after hours. But again, I can't think of a better way to have really become a part of this community. And people ask me a lot, you know, well, what's the value of the chamber membership? And I would, you know, not necessarily to plug them, but, you know, the value is you can get out of it as much as you're willing to put into it. It could be a sticker that you put on a door that's a decoration, or, you know, you can do your business that way. And the relationships and the opportunities that I took advantage of are available to everyone. And I couldn't imagine doing anything differently. It's been a great ride. And I yeah. can't wait. It's only going to get better. It is. It is. Um, and I can tell you that because it's been eight years I've been networking in this community and, uh, and it's, it just gets better and better and the relationships get stronger and stronger. Yes. I think people underestimate the value of expanding your network because it's not, it's not the person you meet at a chamber event. It's the network that that person can open up for you that you didn't previously have that could be hundreds of people or the one right person. Um, right. like you and Mark, like you didn't know Mark well, and now you do <laughs> now you know him really well. And so, uh, yeah, that, that immersion and that networking and it's showing up, right? It's not, you're not where you're at in our community after one year because you decided to be an ambassador and put your name on that list. You're, where you're at because you became an ambassador, which opened up opportunities for you to show up and lead at ribbon cuttings, at chamber events, within the chamber, within our community, on Main Street, um, which is great. Now, you do have a secret weapon that um, many people know of that I think helped you. Um, and so I think Dudley is owed a little bit of, uh, of credit here to helping you immerse yourself into the community. Absolutely. Uh, I, I think that was very apparent when Dudley turned seven last week and I posted uh, on my Facebook page instead of my positive quote because I figured positive puppy and dog pictures and he had over 200 people that liked it or loved it and over 100 people that actually wished him a birthday wish. So yes, he's a, a definitely a secret weapon when you have a big white fluffy dog that will roll over um, at the, when somebody just looks at him. <laughs> uh, for belly rubs, especially on Main Street, uh, it's a wonderful thing because it's hard for people to walk by and say, oh my goodness, can I, not, can I pet your dog? Uh, he's uh, the, our official mascot at the station. I got to work on getting him uh, 
bandana with WTZQ on it, working on that with uh, Mr. Riddell. Uh, so he definitely is. He is a therapy dog, so he's done a lot of work with children. Uh, he's worked with adults, but really he's just a big love that wants everybody to pet him. Yeah, I love seeing him out of parades. I love seeing him on Main Street. It's uh, Dudley is a special, special guy. Uh, very I glad. I really think there's a human soul in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't let you uh, brag about yourself without bringing Dudley into this. Um, so yeah, so now you're with WTZQ, which is our Q community uh, radio station. And when I heard that you were uh, moving to the radio station, I just thought it was a perfect fit. And, um, you know, amazing how, um, you know, being new to the community, you jumped in and they saw such value in making sure that you're the person connecting with our community, which is, which is great. And I think it's a great fit. I'm very happy that you're over there. Um, so how has that role now changed how you're in the community? Um, well, if I thought I was involved before, I'm even more involved now. Um, being the community radio station, we not only work with a lot of the small businesses, we do a lot of work with the local nonprofits as well. Um, so it's allowed me to really learn about the different missions, just how many nonprofits we have in this area and how important the it is it is for all of us to work together. Um, the support of the small businesses and the sponsors, the support of the radio station. Um, so that I, I think is just really, really been a special thing for me because it's given me the opportunity, something that would have taken me years um, to find out, uh, you know, I'm on the United Way Small Business League, so I get a 20,000 foot overview. I sit on the uh, committee at the Blue Ridge Remain Society for events and uh, development. Uh, I've been asked to be on a couple other events. So I'm really immersed in the community, and I, and I believe a lot of that has to do with me, you know, of course, being part of the queue. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I, um, I came to... West North Carolina for school, but then came back for uh, the restaurant industry. And so I worked within the four walls for two, three years when I first moved to this area and getting out into the community, I was, you know, I felt like there was so much going on. And then I took vision class and was blown away by how much I still had no idea how much was going on in this community, especially with nonprofits and, and people just serving the community and the, the heart that our, that our, um, our residents have for that. So it is, it is a special place when it comes to, to that. Um, so thank you for talking about community with us. I, uh, I want to get into a few questions that I ask every podcast guest. Okay. And um, the first one is what is the most influential book that you've read in the last six months? Oh gosh. Uh, I guess the, the, I have a really bad answer for that. I haven't read a book in the past six months. Well, that's okay. That's not, it's not a bad answer. That's an honest answer. <laughs> Just being honest, I, I really haven't. Uh, I've tried to get into reading during this period of time, and uh, it just hasn't been my thing. Um, you know, I'm not a TV watcher either. Uh, and I'm trying to say, you know, sitting here, it's kind of like asking somebody their favorite movie, you know, it until somebody asks you. And, uh, I've, I've read a lot of books, um, that have had a big influence, but of course at the moment, I can't think of the name of a single one <laughs> That's that, all right. that I can share with you. So my apologies for that. That's okay. We have a few, you, you can watch other podcasts and get, <laughs> get some great recommendations for, uh, for books that you should be reading. Um, no, that's okay. That's an honest answer. And uh, I think if, if a lot of people are honest, they'd say, I haven't read a book in the last six months. And that's, that's okay. Um, what has been something you've had to say no to in the last six months? Uh, uh, I've had to say no, obviously, to uh, personal, you know, appearances with people. Um, you know, I've done it from a distance, but especially in the beginning, that was very difficult for me because I, like yourself, am a hugger. Um, I'm all about that personal relationship. And although you can almost reach out and touch someone on a Zoom screen, it's not the same. Um, I've had to say no to family. 
um, with travel and things of that nature to make sure that uh, as a representative of the station, it's important to at least uh, follow the guidelines that we're preaching to everybody, um, which of course means saying no sometimes. Yeah. And I appreciate you leading with your heart and, uh, you know, I've been saying it for weeks now, but leaders lead. And I think that that sometimes means doing something that I don't want to say we don't agree with it, but maybe it's not something that we'd normally do. Um, and doing it because it's, it's, it's the best way to lead others. So thank you for that. Um, okay. Here's, here's one that I'm not going to let you say, I haven't read a book in six months. You have to answer this one. I'm going to give you a billboard. You can write whatever you want on it and millions and millions and millions of people are going to read it. What is it going to say? Hmm. The first thing that came to mind was just do it, but uh, that's kind of too cliche in some ways. Um, I, you know, uh, so I, I will go to a quote that I put on Facebook. One of the things that I've been trying to do during this whole time is make sure that I start each day personally with a positive note. Um, but by doing that, I decided to start sharing it with others. And today's quote would be one that I would want to have on a billboard. And it's whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Yeah, that's powerful. And I think that's really pow powerful. Yeah. And I appreciate your positivity every morning. I love seeing uh, you share that with the world. And um, what I love most about it is I know that it's not because you wake up bright and shiny and sunny every morning. It's because you want to purposefully ensure that you're directing yourself in that way. And uh, that honesty is great. Um, you know, I think... Uh, us allowing ourselves to know that we're not going to wake up on the right side of the bed every single morning, but choosing to purposefully look for that is, is a great trait, Donna. So I appreciate that. Well, thank you. I actually do wait till the morning to look. I mean, I did a couple times the night before and then I woke up and it was just like, yeah, that's not how I'm feeling this morning. So I really do. It's the first thing that I do when I wake up is look and it's whatever one that, really pops that day is the one that is shared. That's awesome. Well, Donna, thank you for being part of our community and thank you for joining me on the Jarrett Bellman show. Well, thanks for having me. And just an FYI, I am signed up for vision uh, for this year. So I'm really, really excited because I've heard so much positive feedback on that program that I really look forward to uh, e learning even more about our community. Excellent. You guys will be the best class ever. <laughs> Well, thank you, Donna. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching The Jared Bellman Show. Be sure to hit subscribe, ring the bell for future notifications, and check out the description for more information.